folks at home, folks at home, out here with Knox hit again. 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 Uh, pretty, pretty, uh, cold day actually, you know, I'm wearing a t-shirt, Knox is wearing a, Knox is wearing a hoodie or something like that, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> but it was pretty freaking cold whenever we first got out here. Uh, me and Joe came out yesterday, we ended up catching pretty good amount on some docks. Uh, fished like four hours yesterday, we probably caught like 15 or 20 or something like that, we caught a lot. So uh, me and Knox came out, we're seeing if we can do the same thing in a different part of the lake to see if we can catch something big. So far we've hit a couple dock spots, a couple like shallow brush piles and some deeper brush piles. And we haven't got bit off any of the deep brush piles. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah, good call Knox. And that's where we were getting bit last week. So kind of cool to see how things have changed. Uh, the only real change is that it got a little bit colder. We got some cloud cover. It's still windy. It seems like every single time I go fishing with anybody, it is blowing. So that definitely didn't change. So maybe it's the temperature change that pushed these fish a little bit shallower, but uh, haven't got any big fish today so far. I don't know how many we've caught. Probably 10. Probably 10, Knox says, but no big ones. So gonna keep going shallow deep, shallow deep, mid depth. Do a bunch of different stuff to see what we can do to get a big fish. Right now, about to leave this dock spot. Had to get out of the wind because I still don't have a mic to do the folks at home update, so. Knox, you got anything, big dog? Drop shot and big worm. It's the only thing that we've been getting bit on. Man, this guy, this guy. You know what, that was dumb. Keep, just hit spot lock. Okay. I don't know why I keep doing stupid stuff. Folks at home, folks at home, do not do stupid stuff. Whenever you think about doing something stupid, just don't do it. Just bag it. <laughs> Got me wet. With the wind blowing in right here. I think this would be like. Yeah. All the points we pulled up on yesterday, the wind was blowing on them. They were cutting the most. Yeah, I mean, some guys, like, their pattern is wind blowing points, you know? Necessarily. What? You could be on a small fish pattern. <laughs> Maybe that's those Alabama bass. You grew up fishing Cato too. Oh really? Twenty minutes from the one? Yep. Now you good. Jeez, not you're killing me. You're killing me. Not that big. Not that big. How'd you catch him, Hugh? Oh, on a little drop shot. Come out here, main lake, some main lake docks. I was like, you know what? Uh, said uh, said in the little intro, these fish may have been moving shallower with the uh, cloudy weather. So we picked the main lake spot close to some brush piles just to see if they could come up real quick. Literally like two minutes in. Let's get the relief. <laughs> I might throw a popper. I got the spook on, should I do that? Yeah, I'd rather do... What? Call one out from underneath that dog.
I tell you, one of those fish. Oh my god, I just had one. Oh my god. Oh. Do I flip back in yeah, there? flip back in there. Uh. Man, that was cool. That was sweet, dude. You exposed them. Yeah. Open your mouth. Come into the dentist. Not bad. Uh, I hate you, dude. Like, I literally hate you. Wait, wait, hold up. Let's go stay at home next time. Folks, I hate this kid. It seems like every time he gets in the boat with me, he's the one that gets the big one. She's pulling drag. She's not happy. Turn around, I was like, that looks like some fish. First cast. <laughs> First cast. Yeah, like a bluegill. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Oh you got some help there, huh? Huh? Look at this kid. Look at this amateur hour. <laughs> amateur <laughs> Let's go. Oh God, I freaking hate this kid. Ten and a half inch worm. You can see her tail. It's still raw. I'm spawning. That's a good one. That's why you come to Lake Conroe. Look at him, look at him, look at him. All smiles, folks. I hate this kid. <laughs> Dude, I was telling Ross, I was like, I'm pissed. He's, he said he was pissed too. Like, past couple times, like, whenever Evan catches a big one, he's like, really pissed. He's like, why didn't I catch that one? No way. Big one? Big one? I think. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. That's a bagin. You just hooked up. <laughs> That's a decent one, guys. <laughs> back to back. Yeah. <laughs> we got people over to our right. We can't let them see this. He dogging me. This is a good one. I was about to kill Knox. I was like, man, why is this stupid kid catching the big ones? I was like, it's my freaking turn. Should next, very next there? cast. Fire back out there. Oh my. Hit the bottom. I was like, I sure feels like one. Look at the size of this fish. That is a good one. Got him. <laughs> Don't look at that freaking Show In its dip. face. How does that feel? It feels alright. <laughs> oh, look at that big girl. Oh my freaking god. Man, that's cool. Man, fishing's fun, man. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Oh, dude, those looked like... I was like, man, those sure look like fish down there. Oh my god, that's awesome. Wild, dude. Look 
good does that feel? See, you were a good sport. Could have been an asshole. I, I don't As long as someone catches a big fish, I just want to get on like a powder, you know? Get the hell out of here. I will say the key to that bite right there is I, it felt like a bluegill. But on these castaway rods, we have soft enough tip to where you can check to see if it's a bite. And when I picked up, she didn't drop it. I set the hook and it was four and a half all day. Knox fired out there, fought that fish. I was like, I hate this kid. He's never coming on my boat again. <laughs> don't say things you don't mean. <laughs> and sure enough, next sure, cast. Sure enough, I fire out there, I pick up. Literally, that's why I thought it was a school because it seems like he fired it up. Yep. I fired back out there. It didn't even, didn't even pull it but like an inch. And I had it on there. So that's why I want to get back in there. Maybe there's still a school in there. So we're, we're going to fire these in there for a couple more minutes. Then maybe change baits, like maybe throw a drop shot in there change colors or something like that just to see maybe Knox will, Knox will throw the Carolina rig I'll yep. throw the drop shot in there it's just to see but that was pretty cool that was bang bang that, that's I think what the crazy thing is me and me and Joe fish this God look at the colors on that one he's white that was a bite right before that there. I think it was the same fish because I was in the exact same spot. Oh, was it? Yeah. All right, guys, so what I was saying before uh, I caught that fish was the, what's, what's crazy to me is that me and Joe came and fished this exact spot for probably 25 minutes. And most brush piles, most brush piles that I fish, I fish them for like five minutes. I, I take like a couple casts, I make sure I hit it. I change baits, make sure I hit it, and then I'm gone. Me and Knox come out here, and it seems like a whole new group of fish came in. See, there's a big cove over there. There's a couple guys fishing. They spawn in there. Maybe they're moving out. And now they're starting to go to their deep spots on the main lake. So that's, that seems like that's why fish are moving to this spot. Catch more. That big. It's like a three, maybe. Nice, dude. Oh, maybe. Maybe a three. I don't know. Two pounder, and we have a fucking point pound sack. I've already got a two pounder. Oh, dude, look at the head on that guy. Post spawn. No, not a three. No. No. A good, a good two, a good heavy two. Heck yeah! Thanks, man. <laughs> folks at home, folks at home. Little midday update. Me and Knox got on a pretty good uh, bite uh, at a spot that had some brush pile and some rock mixed in. Uh, he ended up catching a big one. I fired right back in there after I got, put the camera up. I caught a big one. So that made me think it was a little bit of a school. Ended up not really being a school. It just seemed like they, these fish just moved up uh, and were sitting in the same little point. That was like mid-lake. We ran up the lake a little bit and I caught one more off a of brush pile, hung me up. It was about almost a three pounder. Then we ran it for like two more hours, but we didn't get a bite. So we're like, all right, let's go back to let's go back to where we had caught that those fish. Let's look at it. So me and Knox decided to hit it again. Ended up working out. We caught two more. So maybe that was just a magic spot. Who really knows? But I'm glad we hit it. We're gonna keep looking. We're gonna fish a couple more brush piles for a little bit, and then we're gonna go to a rock spot right before we go in. And then I think we might call it and uh, maybe get some papas. Probably 
something like 15 today. Maybe had about 19 or 20 pounds for our best five. Uh, kind of pretty much had a magic spot today. Uh, kept That's where we caught most of our fish. Big fish initially came when we first got to a spot first. We would throw the big worm in there, see if we could call the big one out, if there was one in there. And once we thought we caught them all, or if we thought they weren't going to eat a big worm, that's when we would throw the drop shot in there. <laughs> that's when we would throw the drop shot in there just to see if we could finesse them out. All in all, it's not a bad day at all. Spent a lot of time looking today, but it seems like they were only really in a couple key piles. And that was like the main points on the main part of the lake. Uh, caught a couple shallow. Uh, in the beginning of the video at the beginning of the day uh, flipping a drop shot up around some docks but just didn't seem like we were getting bit so we kept bouncing shallow deep shallow deep mid depth stuff like that until we got bit and we tried to expand upon that uh, yeah we're gonna go we're gonna go hit some Popeyes <laughs> thanks for watching uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, comment below if you want to see a certain type of video mm -hmm.